Okay, let's take a look at what is involved in creating a workout for other users to play and take through the dev gym. So the first thing to realize is that there are two different applications you're going to work with. One is the dev gym where you create the workout and populate it with exercises. And the other is the content hub, part of the Oracle Learning Library. So let's suppose that I have a YouTube video that I want to build a, a workout around. The first thing I need to do is make sure that this video is registered in the Content Hub. So what I'm going to do is grab the URL. And it's important to not use the shortener. You see the shortened version of this. Don't use the shorter version. So I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to get the URL without all that extra stuff on it. I'm going to confirm that that URL I'm going to make sure that this URL points to the video properly. Cool. OK, now I go to the content hub. I go to Oracle Learning Library, oracle.com slash OLL. I click on Collaborate. I click on Submit Link. Now, maybe this YouTube video is already in there. It's going to tell me. So if I type in the, press in the URL and press Tab, and it doesn't tell me it's already been found, it's not there. OK, so this is on how to handle exceptions properly. Let's go over to the Edit Link. Let's pick the right topic. So under error management, let's pick handling exceptions. How to handle exceptions properly. And it's part three, in fact. And then let's take a look at the description here. So I'm just going to pull it right out. Put it in here related blog post. Right here. So I'll grab that too. Put it in my description. Okay, so estimated minutes, it's important to put in as much data as you can metadata as you can. So seven and a half minutes. 7.5. Difficulty level is pretty basic. Minimum version, I'll set it, but it's pretty much anything and everything. And now I'm good to go. So this looks good. I'll set the author as well. And I'll set the source, practically perfect PL SQL. This will help people find all of the stuff later on and help me build out my workout too. So I'm going to approve it immediately since I'm the domain owner and I need to make sure that it's set as a video. Thank you. Save my changes. Okay, so I've registered the video in the Content Hub. Now it's time to build a workout around that video. So I'm going to go to Workouts, Create. Let's grab the name. How to handle exceptions properly. Of course, you should put in a description too, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. Notice it's not available for use yet, approved for use. And also the starts on date is set into the future. So nothing's going to be seen or used by users until you change both those values. Now let's go over to exercises. Actually, let's save our changes. <clears throat> go over to exercises. And at this point, I need to search out my video. Now, one thing you can do is, is select the source, like practically perfect PL SQL, just like I did when I inserted the value. But I can also simply say, well, let's look for how to handle. And lo and behold, there it is. So I click on it, and it's added to the workout. Now, next, there are a couple of things I can do. One is I can search for existing quizzes in the repository that might work. So if I go back up to my technology and drill down into <coughs> Handling exceptions. Populate the report. Get rid of that filter. So you can see I've got a number of quizzes already available that I might be able to use. And what I can do is drill down into these. I can say, well, let's take a look at quiz on continue past exceptions. So I can preview it. And it'll pop it up. And I can look at it and think, well, does that look good? And if so, I click on it, 
add it to my list, and so on. So at this point, I've got to work out with one video and one quiz. Now, if you don't have quizzes that you can use, you have to create your own. Let's take a look at doing that. I'm going to go into Submit Quiz. It's a very simple wizard for getting something in there to work with. So I'm going to say Multiple Choice, Handling Exceptions, Which of the following choices describe a part of the way you should handle exceptions? My answer here. Include an exception section. That would be good. Never re-raise the exception. Return a status code. OK, so I've got three different choices. Two of these are incorrect. Now I can click on Submit, and then my, and my question will be submitted, and I can go to My Activity, and then My Quizzes, Quizzes Authored, to search it out. Or I can simply say Submit and Edit. You only see this if you already are an author of a quiz, so it assumes that you know the user interface. This takes me right into the quiz. Now, at this point, I can finalize things. And there's a lot that I can work on. As you can see, this page is very busy with lots of things that you can do to make your quiz absolutely stunning and perfect. Since you're building quizzes for your workout, you may not feel like you have to go through the full review process. And they may be relatively simple quizzes. What you have to do is finish up. Specifically, when you create a new quiz through the Submit Quiz Wizard, it will not have set your minimum version and the lesson summary how to handle exceptions properly. So you'll need to put in values for these before you can save and go to the next step. But once you've got it all set up, all you have to do is click on Add to Workout, and it will automatically submit this quiz over to the Content Hub, register it as a finalized quiz. Then all you have to do is find your workout and add it. Now notice the Content Hub section has a Content Hub ID. It's now finalized, not draft. It automatically passed all mandatory items in the checklist, so I'm allowing you to bypass the safeguards we put in place to ensure a really good quiz. So you decide if you want to click on that button early in the process and shortcut reviewing. But then if we go to Workouts, there's my quiz. There's my quiz. And it looks like I need to work on the sequencing too. So you can resequence it. You can change the order. So there you go. So you can create a workout, create your own workout. You can find quizzes that are already registered in the, in the Content Hub and add them. You can also use the Submit Quiz Wizard to quickly put a new quiz in and then use the Add to Workout button to take care of multiple steps of the integration between the Dev Gym and the Content Hub. So hopefully this will help you smoothly and easily create workouts for your classes and for general use by our players. Thanks so much for your contributions to the Dev Gym.